I'm going to use um, translation to create a model of a, a stacked up set of billiard balls uh, or cannonballs or whatever, basically a triangular stack of circles. Here's a circle. Let's specify its radius. So we constrain, here we go, radius R. And then let's hide the center and the R. And then let's specify fill properties, fill style solid. And let's make it a, a red ball. Okay, now I want to create five of these in a row and then I'm going to put four on top and then three on top and then two on top of that. So first of all, um, I'm, so I'm going to translate by a particular vector. Uh, I can make my vector to start with. It's going to be, look like that, it's going to be horizontal. And I'm going to want its length. I want to translate this by 2r. So I want the length of that vector to be 2 times r. So now if I take this, use my translation tool, I then need to either pick or draw a vector. So I pick that vector and I have it translated. And I pick this vector, do a translation, and again pick that vector, there it comes. Pick the third ball, translate, pick that vector, and pick my fourth ball, translate, again pick that vector. So there's my um, five balls for the bottom of my uh, triangular stack. I now need to want, would like to take four of those balls and translate them by a, some, by a, a different vector going up diagonally. So let's do a translation. Instead of selecting that vector, I'm just going to draw another vector so there's my four balls translated up and if I could really want them to be nestled in like that well I could do it by eyeball or I can do it by constraint I can constrain the length of this vector to be 2R and I constrain, can constrain the angle between the two vectors to be um, 60 degrees. So just keep an eye on open. We are in degrees, so I can put 60 in happily. And so there's my um, second row of balls. Third row of balls, I'll, I'll pick three, and I'm going to translate those using that vector. Now I can select two, translate those using the same vector, and finally select one and translate it use, again using that vector. And there I have my picture of a set of billiard balls.